This one drill will help you with over six parts of your game. Serves, returns, third shot drop, third shot drive, hands, decision making, and more. And many of you probably know this drill, but my guess is you don't do this drill the same way the pros do it. You know what the drill's called? Skinny singles. Yep, that's with seven <laughs> ends. Skinny, Skinny singles. singles. Skinny <laughs> singles. This video is brought to you by Selkirk. You got Selkirk? I do. I got Selkirk. Cheers. The best. Love Selkirk. How do you get faster, better? You drill, and skinny singles is one of the best drills, especially if you have limited time, say five minutes, or maybe you have 30 minutes. So what is skinny singles? And again, stay with me because I'm guessing the way I'm gonna teach it to you is a little bit different than how you typically play it, if you already know what it is. We're playing skinny singles to train doubles, not to train singles. Now, there's some things that can train singles, but this is primarily a doubles drill. It's because you're only gonna play on the skinny part of the court, meaning, this is a skinny, right? We have the cross court on my side, the cross court on JT's side. Right now, we're hitting on a cross court skinny. In part of the game, we're gonna be hitting on the down the line skinny. So we have the cross court skinny. We have the down the line skinny. Oh, Again, this is not the game. We're just hitting it to show you how the skinny works. You're always, no matter if you're on the right side or the left side, you're always gonna serve the ball cross court, okay? Now, where do you serve from? Well. Where you serve is determined by the server's score. So if the server has, let's assume we're playing to 11, if the server has zero, two, four, six, eight, or 10, they will be standing on the right side. If the server has one, three, five, seven, or nine, they will always be serving from the left side. So that's the first thing, right? So let's go ahead and play. Yep. It's zero, zero, I'm starting from the right side. You wanna serve that? Okay, we'll play the point out, JT. Okay, remember we only have the skinny and boom. Oh, that's fast. Not warmed up, JT? Because <laughs> I'm right. running. So I just scored. Now I have one. Where you stand and where you serve from is determined by the server's score. You can only score points when you're the one serving. So now I come over here. Now, this is the part you have to pay attention to. It's 1-0. I'm standing on the left side because I have an odd number. This isn't how people typically play, so hear me on this. If one person has an odd number, I have one, and another person has an even number, he has zero, you're still gonna serve cross court, but you're always gonna return down the line. 1-0. Boom. And then you're gonna play the point out down the line so you get reps down the line, and you also get reps cross, but the reason we're doing this is so we still practice our serves cross court, but the returner gets the chance to practice returning cross and returning line. So now it's 2-0, so I have an even number, so that means we're gonna be on this side. You also have an even number. If two people have even, you're playing cross. Mm -hmm. So 2-0, here we go. Ah, JT missed. Now it's 3-0. Okay. okay, I'm gonna be on this side. Where's JT returning? Down the line. Down the line. <laughs> there we go. Okay, good, now it's four zero. Here we go. Ah, I missed it into the net. Now, he doesn't get a point, but serve goes over to him. All right. So JT has zero, score is four. Okay, I go ahead and serve it. Okay. Boom. Ah, okay, I hit it into the net. I'm just gonna hit it into the net so we can work on the rotations. Okay, JT scores. Now, I have an even number, but where you stand is determined by the server score, so it's one to four. If he has an odd score and I have an even number or vice versa, you're always returning down the line. Here we go. Good. Let's imagine now the score is one to three or one to five or one to seven. JT over here. If I have an odd and he has an odd, you're gonna play this point out cross. Well, my okay. goodness. I might've missed that one by a little. Two odd scores, like one to three or three to five, you play cross from the left. Two even scores, like two to four or four to six, you'll play even from the right. Thanks. Let's assume for a second that we're playing here, boom, and the ball comes, Hit it like on that side of the court. Yeah, right there, boom, right? And it probably went on that side of the court. I always play those. Because realistically, that ball is, is, a, is a good playable ball in a match. So just because they missed it by an inch here, I'm gonna play it. Now, if it's outside the court, I'm calling that out. If it's way out, I'm calling it out. But here, I'm gonna continue playing the point. Because honestly, I want the reps and I don't care as much about beating this guy right now. I just wanna get better. Quick interruption. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you're a beginner. So I made something specifically for you. It's a 10 video series, 10 mistakes, 
beginners make delivered to your inbox or email inbox one video a day for 10 straight days. Go to the description below, click the link, enter your email and you'll start getting videos. All right, back to the video. So that's how the game is played. There's two different variations that I'm gonna give you right now. You can play straight up, right? Which is side out scoring. You can only score when you serve points. And the second way you can play that I like to play with my friends is actually you create some constraints on yourself. And here's what some of those constraints could be. I'm the only server for the entire game. We're gonna play to 11. So if you play that way, then there's not, there's not gonna be side out scoring, right? I would play rally scoring. Meaning if I serve it and I win the point, I have one, right? So I move over, all the same principles still apply, okay? Now, if I serve it and JT wins it, he would then have one point, JT. If I serve it and you win the point, I'm still serving though, yep. where am I now serving from? Uh, if you have zero points, the right side. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still serving from right here. Yep. Where are you returning from at zero one? I'm going down the line. Right, boom, exactly, right? So I might play a whole game where I'm serving to 11 and then we'll switch over to JT and JT would be the only server. So in my opinion, one of the things that separates amateur players from high level professionals and or just people in general who improve fast is they narrow their focus on their training. So why would I create these constraints where only one person's serving or only one person's returning or a person only can return with their backhand cut? It's because constraints accelerate improvement. So let me give you a couple different focus areas if you're playing skinny singles that you can focus on. I have my notes here because I have a lot written down and I want you to have them. So one would be like you're working on serves. So you're going into a game, maybe you're the only one serving and so you're working on ripping serves or hitting high lob serves or whatever it is over the course of that skinnies. Or maybe you're working on returns, right? If one person's serving the whole time, that means the other person's returning the whole time. And so they're getting to groove and work on those returns. The third one's like you might be working on your drops. So you might say every single time in this game, it strength you put on yourself is I'm gonna hit a third shot drop. Or another one you might say is I'm gonna hit a drive every single time. Now, be careful because there is gonna be balls that you probably shouldn't hit drives on because they're too low. But again, at 80% of the balls, you're gonna hit drives because maybe you wanna work on third shot drive, fifth shot drop, or maybe you just wanna work on being more aggressive, self shake and bake is a possibility. Another one I wrote down for you is topspin drops. Maybe you just wanna work on hitting a more aggressive drop. Again, Constraints accelerate improvement. So when you're playing skinny singles, the difference between the way you might be playing it if you're already playing it, and the way that I've seen a lot of pros play it, is they pick a focus, they work on that thing, they care less about winning the game and more about improving that thing, because over the long term, that thing, that skill they're trying to work on, is gonna show up in the game because they put the attention to the skill right now. So here's some real gameplay of skinny singles, straight up, side out scoring, we're both serving. Here's what it looks like. All right, zero, zero. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, no. Oh, ATPs <laughs> are legal. All right, one zero. All right, Here we go. So All right, I have an odd number. He's got an even number. One zero, that means he's returning down the line. Yep, two zero. Two even numbers means playing across. we're playing it out cross. Out, out, okay. Way out. Yeah. Zero two, here we go. Uh -huh. I'll take that. All right. Gonna be the pro over here. One, two. You are turned down on. That's way. Nope. All right. Two to one. I have an even, he has an odd. Because I have an even, I'm on the right side. Okay. Because I'm even and he's odd, he's returning down the line. Yeah. 3-1, because I have three, I'm starting, I'm serving on the left side, because it's odd against odd, we're playing this one cross court. Oh, you're so lucky. Fast forward to game point. It's 4-3, JT has an even, so he's serving from the right side. I have an odd, so I'm turning down the line. Here we go. <laughs> nice, good ball. We're counting that? We're counting it. Yeah, I was on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the alternative version where you might just have one person serve the entire game. We're gonna play to five. I'll be the server the whole game. So I'm focusing on the opportunity to serve and hit more thirds. JT gets to return a bunch of ball and hit more fourth shots. Okay, here we go. Right. Zero, zero. 
Ah, I got a turn. Right on the line. Right on the line. But I would have played it anyway because I, I, it's still a fine ball to play. I'm not that maniacal about yep. that when You're I play. You're gonna return serve the whole time, huh? Yeah. So I'm still serving. It's zero one. So because I have zero, I'm gonna be on the right side. Zero one. JT's returning down the line. Zero one. And we're playing down the line. No, it's not gonna work against me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one one. Because we're odd versus odd, we're going cross court skinny. One one. Oh. Yep. Oh, buddy. Made him, made him reach. 2-1. 4-4, four, four, game point. We play straight up. Loser's got three push-ups. Uh, I'm going all in. Push -ups? <laughs> yes! <laughs> three push-ups! Wait, get down! You get down and do that! Oh, Mounds, one! Yeah. Two! I get down there! Three! Yeah, all the way down! <laughs> all right, nice one. Here we go. <laughs> you can go all the way down. Oh. One second, let's show him the sun. Oh yeah. Oh, in my sun. eyes the whole time. <laughs> in my eyes the whole time. <laughs> That's skinny singles. You could focus on so many things, but just choose one or two. Use one of the variations. It'll help your game immensely. It's one of the best drills I love to use. I have another video, five drills that'll help you. Skinny singles is actually in that video. It's the last drill of the video. I teach it a little bit differently. I'd say this is the more advanced way to play skinny singles because it can be a tad confusing, but click the video. Seriously, click it.